yesterday, we switched over to the Abyss, which is the new map with new enemies. We played the Sailor. Grew Whisper, thanks for the 65 months. Appreciate it. Hey, G Red. We played Curious and died. This was our Danger Zero run or whatever. Danger One? I don't remember. Probably Zero. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yes, Max Difficulty beating Danger Zero. This was our Danger Zero run. Cool. We played Curious and lost. Feels like it should be winnable. We played Builder on Danger 1 and 1. Builder was fun. Builder makes one big turret, and then the turret keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and you just stand still, and the turret kills everything. Um, I suspect that it's not that hard to get Builder wins where you don't move. It's just kind of... Yeah. Hey, Project Barrett. Hey, Time Warner. Hey, Nareth. Hey, a 6 6 so four rock. Sacred Sacred and things six months. Everything from here to the right is a new DLC. Actually, is this stuff new DLC? Hold on. Wait. I don't think this stuff is new DLC. Is it? No, that's the end of the first stuff, I believe. Cause that's um Demon? Maybe? I think? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, Arthendol. We're got Secret Ticket in the Things for the 68 months. Time Warning Things for the 66 months. Demon. Yeah. Then we played Captain. Captain's very weird. I'm not sure I understand Captain much. So you got a bunch of extra experience scan. Except once you have weapons, you don't get any experience gain anymore. So you have to like try to get through a chunk of the game without lots of weapons so that you can... You know what? Let's play Captain again. Let's start by playing Captain again. We get... Hold on. Let me change the person on screen then to Captain. All the items which have plus experience on them should be really good for this character. That's like the one place that I can think of where start with a revolver, cool. If we can get some stuff that gives us bonus experience. How do I have access to the DLC? It is in a public beta branch on Steam. So you can also have access to it if you feel so inclined. So our our level ups are worth twice as much. So I can take hands here for 10 harvesting. Boom. A scar for 20% more experience scan. Yeah, that seems like exactly what we want. Also, I found a thief dagger. It doesn't look like thief dagger has been nerfed. GG. Um... I'm just going to recycle the revolver, I think. I'm going to combine these because I want to I don't want to have many weapons, right? The fewer weapons I have, the more experience I gain. And the more experience I gain, the more bonus stats I get. Alright, cool. So I can go four melee damage here for my thief daggers. I can take another ten harvesting. Why not? I got another scar. I wonder if this character rolls more scars than other characters. It kind of feels like maybe you do. Characters can have like preferences for certain item types. And then items with that tag will show up in the shop more often. 
And given that this character benefits a lot from having plus experience, it feels like maybe scars are one of the items this character sees more of. Iselina, trigonometry, brutato, make some mesh and put him in a new expansion. Hell yeah. More harvesting. Uh, more harvesting? I think more harvesting. I want a penguin. I don't know. I don't want that stuff. I want this. I want this. I want that. I kind of want this. I'm gonna combine those. I don't want that enough to buy it. it turns out, change my mind. Minimal effort. Soon it will be time to have more thief daggers. I don't think two is enough anymore. This is... yeah. I don't know the waves because the abyss has different enemy types and different enemy densities on different waves. So knowing how quickly I have to pace my weapons is going to be interesting. How deep into potato am I? Uh, 573 hours, maybe. Let's take 8 melee damage. Let's take another 10 harvesting. Alright, I'm going to... We'll go up to 4 weapons, maybe, now. Another scar? Perfect. Thank you, Dillian Pran. There is a thing with how experience gain works as well, where because subsequent levels require more experience than previous levels, there is going to be some sort of fall off. I don't feel like I've played many melee characters against these enemies. I think I've mostly been going for ranged builds. Hey, Asti, how are you? Hey, Sergeant Beatstick. Don't want a hat? Sure. I don't know. More armor? Dodge attack speed? Attack speed's fine. Another scar. Tree. What? What? Ironically, this feels like it would be worse than usual on this character, even though it's basically what our character does in, in an item. Hey, cantaloupe. That was the first time I had seen Barnacle. There will be other characters who that is better on. They explode. That's cute. Twenty luck, twenty percent tax speed. Let's take ten crit chance as I am trying to do thief dagger things. I really feel like Sunken Bell is just terrible. I don't know, maybe it's better than I think. Uh, a clover? More luck? I bought a baby elephant, right? Let's go for it. Can't see what it does. Very nice Wazda movement. Hmm. 
I saved up the proceeds of my stream for three months to allow me to buy a controller with an analog stick so that I can move more directions. Oh, the enemies are getting stronger than they usually would too, aren't they? Baby squid. I'll take it even though I don't level up that often. That's fine. More ducks. More attack speed or luck. Attack speed. 18 max HP. Holy shit. <laughs> it's a big number. I'm gonna go damage. We'll buy some max HP. I want the garden, not really. Uh, I want this. Melee damage, attack speed, takes a unique item out of the pool. I guess I want black belt, actually. <laughs> black belt. Black belt. Black belt. The character you moved so you can see the leftmost item. Not really. Unfortunately. Kinda awkward. Where should I put it? Hey, it's Kalu! could shrink the game and have space around it on the sides of the screen. Feels like that would not be great. Bottom right. Uh, there's stats there right now, right? Could try it here. But it's kind of in the way during the wave there, I feel like. It is in the way during the wave wherever I put it. I can make it smaller too. Everyday broom salesman, thanks for the 54 months. Chat is in bottom left, it's true. Gosh, you got so much stuff from these. I'm gonna go for 20 harvesting. Some range? I think I could use some range. Sniper ball's fine. I will buy a unique whistle. You need crit chance, I guess. There's a horde on wave 11. Huh. Check took the best place on the screen. This one is like a little aircraft carrier. Is that what it is? It's like a mine layer. What game had mine layers? What game was that? Was that like Dune or something? Am I thinking of vultures in StarCraft? Maybe. It was like an RTS, and there were enemies that dropped mines behind them, but they did it like in an automatic and predictably paced way. Oh, I'm thinking of um, Raiden? Is that what the name of the game is? The one where you're a plane. That is not an RTS. Uh... What is that game called? I don't remember. World War II? Hmm. I was not thinking of World War II. 
can arrange, sure. Some more luck, some more thief dagger. Some more luck. I think I'm at a call turret too, actually. Uh, I have a medical turret now? Sure. We go for it. The title will explain to you what's going on in the stream today, Mr. Waffle Truck. Wait, why do those charge twice? Whoa, it's going so fast. Do they, like, detect you? Oh. If you get close to it, it, like, goes wild. I wonder if they have a facing so you can, like, sneak up on them from behind more easily. Because they have the light in front of their face. Kind of feels like if you get in front of their eyes, they start charging at you. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit concerned that jerky kills me. I'm also concerned that blood donation kills me, but I'm taking it anyway. Is a horde wave? Put a chat command on the overlay, and then the chat command tells them to read the stream title. A little um, scavenger quest to find out the information that you are searching for. So the idea here is that with blood donation, I will get more harvesting, and with a medical turret, if I can hang out in this corner, I won't die. Can I hang out in this corner? I don't know. Maybe. Going okay so far. I wonder if there has been any consideration of the fact the Thief Dagger is, like, horrifically warping the balance of the entire game. Just tremendously, tremendously broken. Uh, okay. Ooh, another Scar. 60 range? Sure. By a missile, even. Just a little guy. Hiking stick. Hiking stick is an interesting new one. It gets plus one range for every 60 steps you take it during a wave. Wait. Is that... Cumulative? Like, right now it says it's 196 range instead of 175 range. Is that because it's been counting how many steps I've taken for the entire run so far? How big are steps? I don't know. I also don't know if increased speed causes you to take more steps. Or if you just take longer steps. It seems broken. Well, if it had only gained 20 range so far in 12 waves. I think it mostly just doesn't do anything. Um, it has that much range because... Oh yeah, it's because I have that much base range and melee weapons only get 50% of range. That makes more sense. Oh, 
Great work out there. Uh, healing turrets. Ooh, crit chance. A bunch of max HP, maybe? Could go armor as well. Buy a garden. Seems fine. One of these. I think I should win from here. We're nicely set up with thief daggers. That's enough to win, like, most of the time in this game. The blunderbuss from last night ruined you. You were ruined by Blunderby. I think it's happened to all of us. The map seems kind of clear, to be honest. how much my cyberball and baby elephant are doing. We can get plus percent damage when we reroll or we can get minus one max HP when we reroll. I'll go for it. I like those odds. Plus 120. I mean that's just unhinged. I will click on it. This thing? Sure. Oh! Plus one percent damage. Huge. Every roll is now a slot machine. Who doesn't want every roll to be a slot machine? Oh, plus 1% damage. We go again, we go again. How much engineering do I have? Zero? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll get some. Wasn't it already a slot machine? You know, you have a point. Wait, that's not the medical turret. this danger five? It is danger three. With two bone dice they could cancel each other out. Well the minus is max HP and the plus is damage. So it is different stats. Whoa. Whoa! Sometimes those miss you by a long way. Why? Why did you charge over there? It's very random. Oh, another little guy. 18% dodge? I guess so. I want a sharp bullet. I want a garden, probably. How are these things doing? Cyberball, 15,000 damage. Not bad. Shoot me, little tower. I feel like there's more random stuff on the screen in the abyss than there was at crash site. Just like dots and lines in bizarre places. I guess we don't have the little enemies who run around shooting dots in random directions. I don't remember what those are called. But I guess those are missing. Well, there are these ones. Those aren't in random directions though. Oof. Oof. Ice cube. Okay, okay, okay. I think we roll 
8% life steal. I think we roll 14% crit chance. I'll go for it. Was I already at 100? Almost. Now I am. Their medical turret seems decent. Why do those have 7,000 health? Oh my god, that is so tanky. Is it like attached to this? No, that's just how much health it has. Wow. Messed up. understand how these spawners work because they they turn red at some point like they start off with the purple thing on them and then later am i gonna die i haven't been paying attention to my character at all uh seem to be okay they start with the purple thing on them and then it turns into a red thing maybe it's just showing that they've almost hatched Wave 16 with zero armor is such a gamble. That's 60 max HP. As long as you take three hits to die, you're generally okay. No, I don't think this is a black flag kind of run. I also have a bunch of dodge, I guess. We can probably tank up a little bit now, though. Yo, come fight me. I suppose if I'm not coming to fight them, maybe that's on me actually. Can I acquire 12 more HP so I have 69 HP? Um, I could, but I'm not going to. did say please. Thank you for that, brother. Blue Town. Very, uh, very polite. Plus 10 HP regen when standing still. Sure. What experience gain do I have? 195. So that means I'm leveling up about as much as I usually would, I think. Oh, I guess I don't really get to stand still. I am of the opinion that you don't want those to hatch very much at the moment. I could let one hatch toward the end of the wave, so those of you who haven't seen what it does can see. actually left it too late. Oh, there you go. That thing that's shooting tons of dots at me. That's what hatches from them. I don't know how those dots interact with iframes. I would prefer not to find out. <laughs> uh, but if you stand in front of them, do you like get hit five times? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure.
Okay, I want a vigilante ring. Probably a bit late. Your structures can crit. Hell yeah. Extra stomach. Extra stomach is now max eight per wave. Used to be ten. Meaning it is now an unpickable item. No, it's still one of the strongest items in the game. Uh, bit late for it though. I don't know, is it one of the strongest items in the game? Now I'm thinking about it. The fact that you uh, have a lowered window of when you can profitably purchase it should definitely count against it in like the hypothetical power rankings that I have just started thinking about it on the inside of my head. Huh. A lot of enemies and they have a lot of health. Um, let me get back to pool again. Yeah, wave 19 is kind of messed up. I was kind of messed up. Alright. Don't have any ranged weapons. Harvesting? Harvesting any good here? I'll go armor. Let's just try not to die. I just feel like with 1300 materials, I should be able to buy something good. We got cursed fried rice. Not gonna buy that. Ooh, I just got 2% damage from that reroll. I'm gonna buy a cake. Okay, that's I guess what we've got. Ah, uh, this is just barely good. Oh, uh, I don't know what achievement I just got, but I just got something. All right, you have to walk diagonally against the sun. I mean, like that. Uh, I'm getting hit, like, a lot. I'm just also dodging every time. Clever. I have the thing that gives me more HP regen every time I pick up a consumable, right? Penguin. I think I have that. Feels like my HP regen's kind of popping off toward the end of the wave. All right, cool. There's a reroll item that gives you stats now, except sometimes it doesn't give you stats. Where is it? Uh, where is it? That one. Bone dice. Sometimes it gives you stats. If you want to have less max HP, I guess, you know. It's always good. The boss looks way harder than the old ones. Some of it's just learning to read its attacks, I think. That was only like the fourth time I've seen it or something. Third time? Maybe third time. We've unlocked Danger 4. We've unlocked Saver, Engineer, Captain's Sword. Deals plus 15 damage for every free weapon slot you have. Ooh, it deals plus 100% curse damage. Okay. And masochist. What does mine damage scale with engineering? Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, I can't do this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. So let's do the diver. You start with a harpoon gun, you have melee damage. Did I take a screenshot of this yet? Looks like no, I have to take a screenshot. All right, just a second.
diver. Done. So this character, it feels like they want to have some sort of gun and then also have melee weapons. You need to hit enemies with your gun and then hit them with your melee weapon. You're starting with a sharp tooth. How do shurikens work? They count as melee damage? Are there any weapons that scale with both melee and ranged damage? Ooh, they glow when they are debuffed. Cool. Cactus Club. I don't know if Cactus Club would work or not. We'll find out, probably, maybe. This scales off range. I could go crossbows and something. I really want to. Shotguns, SMGs, tasers? I don't remember if tasers are ranged. Sir, thanks for 38 months. Crossbow finds Thief Stagger. Okay, I guess we go crossbow. There's not a thief dagger. Fuck, where is that? Pacers are probably decent on this character then. Does curse do a whole lot of shit. A whole lot of shit. I think I want the spyglass. I want the penguin. Alright, cool. I should buy another melee weapon. That seems important. Oh shit, these aren't melee weapons. <laughs> All right, one knife. Welcome to the team.
Because, like, the melee part of this character is just bait. Just go all ranged and enjoy your plus 300% damage. Did you read all of the character modifiers? I feel like you missed one. Plus 8 harvesting. Uh, 8% damage. Probably the best I've got there. Javelin. So much HP regen. Javelin quite good. Based on what? I'm not even using it. This is a much more interesting way to have a character that is just generalist. I mean, I don't know if this character is just generalist, but like... It's certainly more interesting than generalist. I found a thief dagger, it's over. Hey, Butlo. Improve the minus ranged damage. You could get 100 flat range damage. It would take you a very long time. You would be dead by then. Yeah, this is a much cooler character than Generalist. You know what works with this character? Ghost weapons. Wait, no they don't. Because the scepters never get a kill. Well, do the scepters need to get kills? I don't know. A brick! Ah! Ah! Oh no, I didn't kill the tree. Okay, now... I wouldn't hate getting rid of my crossbows, to be honest. Slingshot. Slingshot is what I want. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. That's actually really cool. Oh okay. yeah, we got rid of the crossbows, we had slingshots.
Do I actually want slingshots? It feels like I want to debuff the things that are close to me. And slingshots shoot at things all over the map. Yeah, it's probably fine. Crossbows, grunt, crit, slingshot isn't precise though. You are... You are waking me up from my Brotato trance. You are using the emergency number to inform me that I'm losing 6% crit chance to do this. That's what you've decided to use the red line that you have from Twitch chat to the streamer for. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page about what's happening here. New music slaps. Sure. Unexpected pineapple! How is the new DLC? Uh, stick around and find out! I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, these seem like they're debuffing things pretty nicely. Alright, cool. The trees are really awkward. Uh, they aren't enemies, so I can't debuff them. Also doing a very poor job of killing specific enemies. I kind of just stand still and kill the stuff that's in front of me. I don't know, this doesn't feel strong. Probably there's something else that's better. Do I want to go stacks? I think it's okay. I think maybe two slingshots and four thief daggers. Is this a thief dagger only stream? At some point, perhaps the developer of this game will stop me it so thief daggers give you uh, ridiculous amounts of materials for clearing waves. At which point it will no longer be correct to click on them every time they are in the shop. But until such a thing happens... It will continue to be correct to click on them every time they are in the shop. some luck. Maybe they should just not have Thief Daggers at a Danger 5. Perhaps. More HP regen? I guess. Did we go engineering out of nowhere? Okay. I don't know. Burning does more damage. More engineering. I mean, I'm not setting anything on fire, so I don't think burning is very good. The purple outline shows that an enemy is cursed, which makes it slightly stronger in some way. I think it has more health. And also does other things sometimes. Curse is an entire mechanic with like items that interact with it and characters who interact with it, stuff like that. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Oh god, that's the first time it's happened to me. I'm like waiting at the crosswalk until the dots are finished passing by. Uh, I guess. I want the crit chance. The other things are mostly inoffensive. Let's take a bit of armor. Take a vigilante ring. Put things on fire? Sometimes. Ooh, another one. Take another one. Uh, probably dead now. This is a horde wave. Dead or rich? Those are the options. Dead. Dead was the one I got. Alright, well, that was fun. I got Hiker! Earn 5 materials for every 10 steps you take during a wave. Plus 1 max HP for every 80 steps you take during a wave. Speed modifications are increased. That is a very funny sounding character. It is the next character. Alright. Let's do a Hiker Brawl. This sounds awesome. Walk in circles and stop looking at the screen. <laughs> Tap down links to 25 months. Appreciate it. It's a lot of potatoes. It is a lot of potatoes. We start with Jousting Lance. We have to take as many steps as possible. I don't know if there's like a way to take more steps by walking in circles or something. I kind of doubt it. Ooh, great. Boiling water. How lucky. That's not speed. That's not speed. That's not speed. 4% speed. Oh my god, it's my beanie. Yeah, turn alive. You're welcome. None of that is speed. This is very unlucky. Minus 1% speed? I don't know. So far I have gained 60 materials. But 0 max HP. Which means I guess this doesn't carry over between waves. The game is now underwater. We are in the abyss, which does appear to be underwater, yes. Does that mean that bag is minus 1.1% speed? It does. Unpickable. It would be completely fine. I'm just trying to do as much as possible with the passive. Yeah, but buying bag there would be, like, I think completely reasonable, probably correct. All right, I'm all lanced up. Okay. 
Upgraded lenses do give more speed. What's your favorite hiking trail, Twitch chat, without doxing yourself? The Mariana Trench. Cool. Lovely, wonderful. West Coast Trail. Is that one of the ones that takes, like, months? 6% speed, baby! Hiking stick. Is that good? I'm gonna stick with jousting. I, I feel bad about it because that seems like the exact item made for this character, you know, but it feels like jousting lenses are just better. The waves do get longer, so I have longer to get my steps in. Do any of you use a thing that gamifies something in your life? Like how Pokemon Go gamifies taking a walk, I guess. Except other things. Maybe online dating gamifies dating. That's kind of weird to think about. Video games gamify something in your life? Very literally true. 4% speed, baby! There are also Pokemon sleeping and toothbrushing apps. Is it true? <laughs> Fascinating. There's an app you use that gamifies piano practice. Mm -hmm. The cookie clicker on Twitch gamifies ad revenue for Twitch. There's cookie clicker on Twitch. Who? What? If I worked out some way for my stream to be interesting while I wasn't here, would you all, like, sit on my stream doing something while I wasn't here and watch an ad every hour? And then I'd make money. And then I could retire. Should I be, like, looking into that? No, yep, no. You know, I only really need, like, one in five people probably to say yes. Peacock. Jousting lance. Spud. Spud. How are we doing? Did we get max HP yet? Yes, we're getting max HP now. If I coded a Spire AI. Does Frosthaven come with sleeves or is it an additional purchase? Um, There is an official sleeve thing that you can buy in the store, which has all of the sleeves that you'll need, but the game itself does not ship with them. Also, on top of that, when I was playing the board game, uh, I wanted matte sleeves, so I purchased some matte sleeves because I was capturing with a camera, but if you're not doing that, then the sleeves that they ship are fine. There are a lot of cards in that game. Hmm. I feel like a treasure map, even if it doesn't, like, strongly interact with my character, just thematically, it has to be purchased, right? 
Imagine being a hiker and not buying a treasure map if you were offered one. Couldn't be me. Doing roleplay rotator runs. Every every rotato run is a roleplay. This game is an RPG. What if I roleplayed like I took damage IRL every time the potato took damage? Do you want me to say ow? Sometimes I do that. How much max HP did I get that wave? Reroll. Oh, that's not movement speed. Yes! Not. Weapons can no longer be upgraded or recycled. So we lock these weapons. And we get 15% damage and 15... No, that's fine. Later, though. I can get a haptic feedback suit and then code a program to hurt me every time I took damage. Why do you... Why does Brotato make people suggest making the Torment Nexus? There's something about this game specifically, where whenever I'm playing it, people are like, here's an idea for the Torment Nexus. If the trees have a weird hitbox, I don't seem to be having trouble killing them with two to three jousting lance hits, but the thief staggers were having a rough time. Well, they had more max HP in the thief dagger run, I believe. 3% speed. I'll take it. No. I'll take one of those. Ooh, thief dagger time. Not this time. Range and better reroll price. I've seen not twice. Metal is more speed. Is this the DLC? The title of the stream can help you understand the answer to that. Oh my god, I'm so fast. This is everything I ever dreamed of. AJ Saber! Thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. They found a way to give me rewards for moving quickly. Moving is now a ghost weapon. Proud of them. The stream title also told you that there was another Potato DLC stream that you can watch later. Yes, it has more in it. Reach 50% speed. I have received an achievement notification. Trees die in one hit. Sure. Why not? At some point I might want some luck. Salt water, 10% speed for three seconds when you take damage. That'd be huge. Ooh, hi. Right. 
Unfortunately, this seems to be one of the ones that just can't hit you if you move quickly. I keep on getting hit by other things, though. Oh my god, please die. Thank you. Woo! That's the first red crate I've gotten. Kraken's Eye. Okay. I wonder how big the explosion is. And I guess it's like bull sized. A cursed diploma. Look at that diploma. What field do you think a cursed diploma is for? Have I tried Bellatro? I have. Is my face identical to my potatoes right now? Pretty close. Do they have crypto majors? Forensic accounting. Is forensic accounting bad? I thought forensic accounting was kind of cool. Like, probably very boring, but it's basically a crime procedural, right? What's wrong with that? You're not the person the crime procedural who the action follows, but you are one of the characters. They stop by and you inform them that you've discovered something incredible once every year. Etris, thanks for the 47 months, appreciate it! I feel sad that no matter how famous he gets, Weird Al will never be parodied by Weird Al. Do y'all think so? I'm sure he's got some ideas. Plus 5% speed? Holy shit. Was that the best shop so far? Possible. Does he not have a cameo in the Weird Al movie? Because, like, I don't really understand how he could not. This character is sweet. Just a completely free win. Ow. Take some attack speed, sure. He's a suit who hates Weird Al. Do you mean a suit? Like a... Ooh, goldfish! This is one of the most fun. Most fun new things. Items will be one tier higher after the next reroll. We save that for next wave because we're out of money anyway. Get some good stuff. 
Okay, do we end up seeing explosion size for that cursed item? I haven't noticed an explosion yet. I haven't been hit many times. I might have explosions turned off also. Uh, explosions. Explosion opacity 100%. That means I can see them. Okay. Yeah, I think it might not have procced yet. Oh, damage dealt 432. Okay. I haven't noticed it. Oh, there it was. We have now definitely seen it. It's like the bull explosion, which does not surprise me. That kind of seems like what it would be. Are these walruses? They have a lot of health. They glow red for some reason. Presumably someone is buffing them and giving them more health than they would otherwise have. Is walruses the plural? It is now. That's right, the language has just changed entirely because I said it should. Uh, we have found a grinds magical leaf and also another jousting lance. Oh, that's uh, an enemy. <laughs> I guess most things are. is beginning to believe. Ow. Alright. What I got? Oof. You are too fast. Slow down. I will not. I will not do so. This is good with my explosion thing. Probably. It feels like it would be. Do I want wisdom? I guess so. I don't know what that died to. Weird. Uh, Twitch chat, please. I am streaming on an old laptop. And going this fast is making it start to overheat, hurting my legs. Please don't send any more messages until the end of the run to spare me. Stuff keeps dying like forever away from me and I don't know what it's dying to. It must be lances, they just have pretty long range and I'm moving very fast, but yeah. Sometimes it's weird. I have so much max HP. Can you see at a glance my character needs you can see at a glance my character needs another lance to advance. Is that a riddle? Am I meant to know what that means? Uh, whatever. Ooh, another elite? How is this even possible? Uh, oh god. Yo. <laughs> this wave is no fun at all.
The enemy seems to shoot dots uh, at the space around you. But fortunately not at you. Oi! How did you think this was a Bellatro stream? I don't know. Maybe you're Bellatro pilled. Is that why I got asked if I had tried Bellatro? Because somebody else also thought it was a Bellatro stream? It's kind of awkward. Do I want a crown? It's wave 18. And will be wave 19 when I purchase it. Was it leading its shots? I think it was just missing. <laughs> I, yeah, I think it was just missing. Drama, thanks for the 41 months. Appreciate it. Hmm. Takes a while to heal 100 health. I guess it also takes a while to lose 100 health. 3% speed? Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Huh? Fascinating. I could buy this and a medical turret. I think just having the medical turret is probably better. Ooh. Your highest and lowest stats are swapped when you get this. Does that... I can't lock it? Whoa. I could have two max HP and 117 melee damage. Seems pretty good. It seems exceptionally bad. It... I'm just trying to understand when we would use that. It is a very strange item, isn't it? It is the sort of item where you will occasionally want to keep in mind that if you build a certain way, it is a way to win. But I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, to be honest, I can't think of a single situation where it would be good. It could make it so pacifist killed things with damage. That would be kind of fun. You sure don't need that as pacifist, but... It could. I think I won. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Works for me. Where'd it go? Oh, it dashes. Okay. I was reading chat for a second, and then I looked back and it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> um. G 
GG. You keep losing on Captain? That sounds tremendously believable. Character does not seem good. We have unlocked Danger 5 and Speedy and Scarf. That's a cool item. Yeah, that's a fun item. And Knight. Can I ever do endless runs? I mean, logically I can't, right? Because if I did, I would still be doing the first one. It's right there in the name. Jean Bard, thanks for 28 months. I appreciate it. I have done upwards of two endless runs, which was very easily enough for me to never want to do one again. I once reached wave 50 on Demon on Danger 5 without being hit yet, actually. It was kind of ridiculous. I have at least 30 enemies burning at the same time. Collect 300 consumables by the end of wave 20. Hit at least 25 enemies with a single melee attack. Reroll 10 times in a single shop. How do I hit 25 enemies with a single melee attack? Hiker plus walking stick, maybe? No. Huh. One armed? Yeah, one armed would do it, I guess. Was the orange that I insta bought after wave 19? Uh, it was plus percent damage for every speed I had. 250% pickup range. Who does 250% pickup range? Some of this stuff, like... Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Let's play Ogre. Pacifist Hand. Ah, probably true. 